I'm Marty Rosenkrantz of the 8th Step. Wow, thanks. I've seen most everybody in this room, I bet, at one time or another in our audience. It's a pleasure to see you all here. It's a pleasure to be here, and it's been a very hard job choosing performers for this show. But, um, thank you, pretty gratifying. A lot of great energy on this stage tonight. Um, you can find a schedule of what's coming up at the 8th Step in your program book. And I want to point out two concerts in particular. One is Roy Zimmerman, political satirist. And then if you don't know who he is, turn around or lean forward or turn to your neighbor and they probably could tell you something about him. And the other one is uh, Magpie's song. Songs of the Earth, their tribute to Rachel Carson, that's on the April 2nd, and Zerman is on April 16th. So come and see us, and if you, we have a, a long history of uh, musical activism in Albany and around the Capital Region and even beyond, and um, we've got a history out on the wall outside if you're interested. And uh, it, was, it was at the 8th step that the Phil Oaks Song Nights started in this region. We were part of First Press's uh, uh, annual Thanksgiving dinner for years. We cleared out the basement and uh, they had dessert down there. And uh, we've done many, many what, what you would call silent benefits, where we don't advertise who it's for, but we've helped out the Sierra Club and um, started an AIDS magazine. There's a long list. So um, read the history, it's kind of interesting, and we're still at it, as you can see. Thanks. And uh, one thing I want to add to this that's not on the schedule yet, um, we're going to be doing a sequel to the Joe Hill Road Show that was so successful last summer. And we're not sure when, but stay tuned, it'll be summer or fall, and um, we're hoping the same crew will be back, it was a wonderful show. Um, I want you to know that we are a fair trade venue, as um, certified by Musicians Local 1000. And um, I guess that's about all I want to tell you. I just want to give this mic back to the one and only Charlie King. Actually, there are others. He got to play center field for the Chicago Cubs in the 1950s. How many of you woke up on Saturday mornings to watch those cowboy cereals, those cliffhangers, and remember the really bad sheriff with the black hat? Charlie King. Yeah, there are a lot of us. As a matter of fact, uh, I once played a venue in California, and I walked out on stage, and like people looked at me like, what? I was the wrong Charlie King. It's true. They hung in there, though. So I have some announcements to share. One of them is very critical to people who are uh, looking for housing for the weekend. And uh, Myla? Mila, thank you. Would you come up here? You can tell I'm not from here. So Mila, this is what Mila looks like. Mila. Really not from here. This is, so Mila, please, is um, coordinating housing. More important, where will we find you after the show? I will be um, outside to the right of the door, and anyone who is looking for either their host or their guest, please gather there and we'll all figure out who everybody is. Yeah. Introduce for Charlie Gee, thank you. Improperly too. <laughs> Thanks for your patience and thanks for your work, ma'am. Okay, uh, next announcement is that the uh, the uh, PMN steering committee is trying to hard, trying to put the organization on a more steady financial basis, and in order to continue and expand the work. So we're asking all members who can to make a monthly commitment. Do that via credit card or PayPal or bank account. Um, and so we have membership forms outside. They look 
like that. And uh, it says become a PMN sustainer. And it gives you an opportunity to uh, do that. It explains it all in great length. Um, we ask you, uh, in the same general vicinity with Mia, if you go out the door after the show and turn to the right, um, you'll find a table there with these forms on it. You can pick one up tonight. You can uh, actually initiate the process tonight because um, Heather will be there with a computer and she can handle all those for you. So, um, and after tonight, that table and those forms will be available in the cafeteria where most of the communal things happen for the weekend, three, three flights down. Thankfully. Uh, if you can make your commitment this weekend, you can also choose the corresponding gift, which includes buttons, magnets, and CDs as available. So I think that covers that particular one. All right, and here's a happy announcement. Um, Taina Asili, who closed the last set, we thought that she should do three songs. She thought that she should do two songs. She's the only person here tonight who thought she should only do two songs. Am I right? So for one more song for our encore, please bring back Taina Asili and Gaetano Baccaro.
Jesus. Thank you so much. Peace and love. something that is so powerful and so beautiful. Uh, they talk about their celebration of life, they talk about their uh, uh, challenge to the status quo. Uh, we are very, very grateful to have them with us at People's Music Network. They're from the Bronx. What more can I say? Please welcome the Peace Poets. Your voice when they don't want us to speak. 
But an injustice takes place to any one of my peeps. I won't back down, I won't be at ease. I can't stay shut when little kids can't eat. When grandmothers get evicted and they got a place to sleep, while companies make trillions but won't give a piece, to deny ourselves of our global family is to deny ourselves of our own humanity. But with the ancestors guiding, no cliff is too steep. We hold it down, which I know when we propagate peace. And we say peace to the poets who propagate peace. And power to the people who march in these streets. And word to the workers who walk in bare feet. And light to the writers who fight to get free. I see you in me and me in you. In the streets of culture bummer, taking back, back that agua. Rocking time to these parties when we took my agua. Keep my fist in where my yard get it. Syrians 
but their hearts break for palace. They deny those most in need of our amnesty, further pointing out the hypocrisy of their humanity, reserved only for the select few of the human family. That's why we are witnessing this torture. Pray and take a breath. Know the root of your success before you go and cash that check. Billions in debt, black Americans still fighting for their breath, reciting, I can't breathe, while racists make jokes about their death. State violence is worldwide. We are witnessing where it connects. In Guantanamo, where North Americans hide behind Cubans, where the U.S. military decides who is and isn't human. I was under the impression that this country was founded to do away with this oppression. But I've learned my lesson. These rights were never meant for a man of my complexion. That's why I put up a black fist. Because bodegas speak to me in Spanish, and deli speak to me in Arabic. I am where humanity connects. I live where the negro, blanco, y taino had met. Which is to say, I see with my third eye, and at the same time protect my neck. The road to justice is a marathon, and what we're asking for is a step. Abolish torture, end all unjust imprisonment. Only then will the darkness lift, and we can finally wait to the truth. We are our greatest gift. Peace, beautiful family. It's so good to feel your energy. Before I share this piece, I wanted to tell you a little bit about two projects we've got out. One is our book, Live from the Belly. We've only got a few copies left from a batch of 400. We published some of the poetry you'll hear tonight and heard will be in this book. And we've also got some music from our hip hop album called State of the Art. It's been a lot of our journey as artists, activists, and uh, our personal journey in New York City. Um, doing the work that we do. We invite you out to take a piece of us home. We also have some shirts and other cool merch. Um, and, you know, share, if you, if you love our stuff, share it with someone who you think would uh, also enjoy it. We praise our mothers, whom are holy, like Mamie Till Mobley. When it still feels like above corner and liquor stores, and corner stores, we see liquor stores that read with invisible signs for colored only. How much patience must we have for this emancipation procrastination? Where incarceration is a lot less about rehabilitation, but another stock option plantation. Raising families off of what drug deals yield, some work the field, others pour rain to the house, leaving us with foot and mouth, cause we got a black president. It is our history that Arizona and Texas bans. And even with the black Spider-Man, our babies are still getting killed over Skittles and Arizona cans. I can't seem to sober up these Miller men. America's intoxicated with racism from George Washington to George Zimmerman. And the history of cotton picking, cotton picking, makes picking between two politicians feel like picking between two nooses for lynching. There are days I still wake feeling like a second class citizen. But we have survived over 400 years of slavery, dehumanized, cultural, mental, and physical exploitation. It was illegal for us to read and write. Now they kindly ask us to tone down what we recite. But if there's one thing that Langston taught us, it's that dreams deferred can never hide, that for only so long can truths be denied. We went from underground railroads 
while hounds sniffed for tracks. To Grand Wizard Theodore, dropping needles on the track. To crack in the hood, heroin dropping needle suture tracks. To condemning fatherless kids and equipped to pursue scholastic tracks. To 80s babies, influenced by the boom back. I swear if I lost my voice, I'd to get it back. With a twist of Byron Rustin, tell I'm a James Baldwin type of lyricist. So throw your towel in the ring. Cause this is Frederick Douglass with a twist of Muhammad Ali and Rock Seti. Our ancestors drive us and guide us with a revolutionary love. We are the struggle of the Sabatista, the hope incited in Tunisia, and the driving out of Mubarak from Egypt. And though we've been occupied and colonized without our consent, we will decolonize minds 100%. And there's no need to ask you to prove your solidarity in a Facebook or Twitter caption. Because true belief is best expressed in action. Child 
that a mother loves her child no matter where he is born, and that is why I stay out here for immigration reform, telling Congress and Obama we want legalization now. This is the only way I know how to say thank you to my mother. I am the child that you fostered like care in the form of wisdom shared, and just by being there, I would be rich if I had a dime for every time you told me to cut my hair. <laughs> but in savings, I am poor. Because I always sent my money back to Ecuador so there could be just a little more food on the plates where hunger often waits. You taught me never hesitate to give, so this is how I live. If my income can become bread, it will. And still, when it comes to love, I can never fill your shoes. But every single step I take will be to prove you taught me well. Mom, I know it's hard when I go away sometimes. I know you miss your baby and you worry about my safety, but remember, I only do what I do because when I grow up, I want to be like you. So beautiful family, uh, we just want to thank and acknowledge all the organizers, everyone who touched the stage. If we can give it up for Kay, for Charlie, for Ben, for Aina, for Mom. Give it up for yourselves for giving us all your attention, your love, and energy. We've got one more piece for y'all, and if you've enjoyed what you've heard, you know it would be. Um, a great gift to us to stay connected through social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter's tweeting, Instagram. Um, I don't think there's a Snapchat yet. But feel free to connect with us, um, chat with us after, and we'd love to build. Thank you. Some people are being murdered in poets of silence by the state. 
face. I spit this piece to conquer hate. And scream and then go. I will yell it in my soul till they throw me in the hole. And cover by the darkness, I will hold this piece of light. I see in the children's eyes. It reminds me why we fight. And from right here, I spit the depth of my tears caught beside the desert. And there ain't no amount of hours. No governmental powers. So sticking me with mediocrity. Or turn me to a coward. This radical means rebuilding. All the peace that they've devoured. Just in case y'all didn't hear us. Let, Let us spit it out, though.
Peace Corps. Wonderful. If you'd like to hear more of them, they'll be performing in uh, White Plains, uh, the Walkabout Clearwater, two weeks from tomorrow, February 13th. And also, in addition to uh, stage performance, as you heard them say, they're in the streets, and they're also in the schools and detention centers in New York City where they bring that rich, heartfelt poetry. It's a wonderful gift. Thank you. Um, our next performer is a really important part of People's Music Network history. I don't know how long ago, maybe 30 years ago, that Ruth Pelham first came to Camp Thoreau for a summer gathering, and uh, I guess folks here in Albany knew all about Ruth, but many of us didn't. She came there, and when we left on Sunday, everybody in that weekend knew and was going to sing a Ruth Pelham song. And I can never hear a song by Ruth without wanting to learn it and sing it myself. So let's hear what she's got for us tonight. Please welcome Ruth Pelham.
as the string popped.
So if any of you want to talk about Local 1000 at any point this weekend, or maybe your own local, if you want to know more about the Musicians Union, AFM, American Federation of Musicians of the United States and Canada, I'd be happy to talk with you a little more about that. But, uh, through that, I met Charlie King and Pat Humphreys, and they both conspired to get me to come to People's Music Network uh, almost 14 years ago. And, um, and it was a very seminal moment in the cultivation of my career because I realized that there was a whole community of people spread out across the country that was trying to think about how to use music effectively as a tool to celebrate the lives of people and also promote change, positive change in the world. And um, I just felt like I had found my tribe, so it's a real honor to be back here. This is a song I wrote for a friend of mine, Phil Amidon, who was a master welder with Norfolk Southern Railroad. Somebody who to taught me a lot about taking pride in a job well done. It's called Song of the Rails. I hope you'll sing it with me. But if you have a minute, John, I sure feel like hell. The union vote is coming up and things are looking well. You know I'm going to stand up for the things that I believe. But it seems that my life's not as simple as it used to be. I was born in Tulsa back in 1951.
such a sin. the tree. 
trees Now the wood from your timbers tall Let's build your buildings wall to wall And now the hand of the lumber jack Is reaching out to you Oh, the hands, hands, hands that work to build the land, land, your land. The labor of the woman and the man working with their hands. I've seen the hands. Plowing across the field, tops are stuck to their fingers as the earth was split by the steel. Rolling all that they could roll to fill your tables, roll. Hey, is this guitar coming in, coming through in the house? I can't really hear it. Oh. Is this, you're not getting anything off of this? generous offer at a time when people were paying a lot of money to hear you. You'd think they would have said yes. 
<laughs> the time I spent with Pete, uh, mostly through PMN and also through Local 1000, uh, was really also seminal in my development as a musician, and so I really wanted to honor him with this song.
distant lands. The tempest tossed with hopeful hearts and calloused hands reach toward the light. The torch held high and cast their gaze upon the lady of the strength 
to work for positive change in the world and to nourish ourselves along the way so we don't burn out. It's a song I wrote a few months back. It's called I've Given Myself to Love. I've given myself to flights of fancy to see what's around the next bend. I've given myself to things that are broken to put them together again. I've given up hope and I've given my best. It all depends on the day. I've given up so many things that I wanted and still the sun rises each day. Some measure life by their losses and gains For them there is never enough But I measure life by the hearts I have known For I've given myself to love Given the money I had in my pocket to someone in obvious need. I've given myself to the kindness of strangers, and I've given thanks for good deeds. I've given solace and I've given comfort. I've given a Sometimes I don't know to what end. Some measure life by their losses and gains. For them there is never enough. I measure life by the hearts I have known. For I've given myself to love. Some people say that they have no regrets That life's just a roll of the dice But I say if you live life paying attention You see that each choice has a price I've given some people more than they bargained Others still cause for concern. I've given myself to the fire of passion, and I have unwillingly burned. Just when it seems that the story is over, and all that remains is goodbye, there is one thing of which you can be certain. I'll always give love one more try. Some measure life by the losses and gains. For them there is never enough. But I measure life by the hearts I have known. For I've given myself to love. Yes, I
Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here this evening. I have one more song I would love to share with you, and I have invited some friends to come sing with me. This is People's Music Network after all, so it would be great to close the evening with some more people up here. You know who you are. Uh, what, a, what a huge honor to close out this concert. It's been an extraordinary evening. Thank you for your endurance. It's been a long program. But really, really, what a privilege to be here and stand at the end of this amazing slew of performers. Please give them your appreciation.
Matthew at 8.30.